Hello, my beautiful friends. Hope you're doing amazing. Today, we're going to be ranking all of my Natasha Denona mini palettes, if that's something you'd be interested in. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Audrey. Thank you so much for being here. Please consider subscribing down below before you leave. We talk about makeup over here. I'm just a mom who loves makeup, and that's what we do. And if you're returning, hi, hello, welcome. I love and appreciate you. And if you're interested in anything that's on my face today or anything that I talk about, everything is always linked down in the description box. Some of those links are affiliated links, and that just means if you choose to shop through them, I do receive a small commission and no extra cost to you. And that always just goes back to supporting my channel. But if you don't want to shop through the links, just watching the video in itself is support. Thank you so, so much for being here. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to do a super fun ranking of 11 mini palettes from Natasha Denona. I don't have every single one that she has on her website. I have all of the midi palettes, but the mini palettes, I'm still working on my collection. But I just picked up the new mini rose palette, so I wanted to rank the ones that I have. Um, I have 11. Ooh, there they are. <laughs> um, and a I think a couple of them actually were limited edition and you can't get them anymore, but I'm not sure which ones. I have a, I, I have a guess, but I'm not 100%. So if I misspeak, <laughs> let us know down in the comments which ones are limited edition and not, you know? So, oh, and I am an affiliate with Natasha Denona. If you want to shop through my link or use my code, <laughs> um, I, that code saves you, I believe, 15% off. It's a one-time use code. But, I mean, if you haven't used it, you could use it. There's tons of affiliate link, affiliate codes that you could use too. So just use somebody's code to save you some money because who doesn't love saving money? Okay, starting with number 11. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Crush Palette. This is one that I believe was limited edition for Valentine's Day, I think, a year ago, two years ago. <laughs> but <laughs> um, this was limited edition and it's really pretty. I'm gonna swatch the shimmers for you because I mean, those are the funnest ones. Um, and I really do, I really like that red, that shimmery red. But the color story of this one, it's coming in at number 11 because it's, I mean, it's not, it's pink. <laughs> it's just a pink eyeshadow palette with a little bit of like a reddish Valentine theme. And it's just not, it's not my favorite. I prefer more of like a mauve pink. I mean, even the pink that I have on my eyes right now compared to this, like this pink. And then this isn't the most cohesive color story i feel like i feel like coming up in you know the higher ranking ones they they make a little bit more sense to my brain this is like let's throw in some colors that scream valentine's day pink purple red done you know so this is not my favorite color story but i don't think it's available anymore so number 11. and this is all ranking based on you know just my personal preference <laughs> Makes sense. You know how ranking videos work. Okay. Next, number 10 is the Natasha Denona Mini Metropolis palette. I believe there was a larger Metropolis palette. I never picked that one up, but I do have the mini. And I actually think this one might be limited edition too. Um, these are absolutely gorgeous. I think, I think this was my very first. Natasha Denona mini palette that I purchased, I think. Um, it's up there. In, I've had it for a long time. <laughs> um, that gold is absolutely gorgeous, very beautiful, and the green is so pretty. It's a very beautiful, cohesive color story, but green and gold, just, they're not my thing. They are definitely some people's thing, but it's not my, it's not my favorite color scheme to wear. I don't usually pull for this. Um, but I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, but I like my other ones a little bit better. So coming in at number 10. <laughs> okay. Coming in at number 10 is the Natasha Nona mini trio chrome palette. I love this palette. I love it a lot. It's gorgeous. It's got a duo chrome in here, duo multi-chrome duo. I don't know. 
it's beautiful blue to purple shift and this is an absolutely gorgeous blue eyeshadow palette absolutely gorgeous i mean check those out so pretty but i mean you got to be in the mood for a blue right i'm not always in the mood for a blue but i have i do wear a blue eyeshadow quite a bit <laughs> so it's gorgeous for a blue the formula is incredible it's just not something i use all the time and it's not something i think about you know it doesn't live rent free in my head i have to be like oh yeah blue eyeshadow so coming in at number 10 number nine is the natasha nona mini bronze palette i have the midi bronze palette this is the mini there's only one shimmer shade in this palette rest are matte uh, and it's i mean it's gorgeous that shimmer i mean yes and if you want a very rich fall themed palette this is i mean this is perfect this is all you need for every day of fall it screams fall to me and it's so easy if you are a simple human being and you want a palette that is perfect for fall these colors perfect for fall absolutely incredible no thought needed really really beautiful easy that's my favorite part about the natasha nona mini palettes it's a quint and you can like bang a look out really fast because it's no thought you don't need to oh what color am i going to use it's not like there's 15 colors to choose from there's five so love that about it and it, that bronze i love it it's just perfect for fall not perfect for my every day i'm not preferring colors like that for every day but you'll see what i prefer for every day you guys know <laughs> next so that was 11 10 9 8 7 coming in at number seven this is natasha denona mini xenon palette now my black broke and i actually shoved the black pieces back into it um so it, it doesn't fall out every time i open it this one also only has one shimmer oh my gosh but this shimmer whoo <laughs> The shimmer just fell out. <laughs> you guys, that makes me so sad. I gotta, I gotta glue it back in. I gotta glue it back in. Okay. <laughs> this palette has seen better days. Um, there's the swatch of that metallic metal silver. Incredible. I personally prefer my midi xenon palette to the mini xenon palette and you know i don't know why that is i really love this color story i just when i want something grungy i usually reach for my midi over my mini and that's just that is what it is and that middle shadow just fell out so i'm gonna have to fix that but come in at number seven <laughs> five four three two no six five four Three, two, one. Okay, coming in at number six, here we have the mini Zendo palette. This has three shimmers in it. I I really like this Zendo palette, but it's coming in at number six because personally, I remember when this um, when the midi Zendo palette came out, and people were all kinds of up in arms because they wanted the midi zendo palette to look more like this mini palette and it doesn't the midi zendo palette is more like green blues um like not so much of a pinky cool toned color story the midi is green blues and like warm tones so this one's different and i prefer the midi over this one i i mean the shades are gorgeous but to me i reach for the midi more than the mini because i prefer the midi zendo palette just i mean i love those greens in there they're gorgeous i love that one a little bit more so this is 
Number six, still beautiful, but I think I just personally like the midi better. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh goodness. Hey, um, the next one has three shimmers too. Okay, we're at the top five. Top five. I love these. They're amazing. I the mini palettes are so awesome. Very special. I love them. Coming in at number five. This is the Natasha Nona Mini Retro Palette. And this is another instance where I think this one came out first. And people were like, um, the MIDI Retro Palette doesn't have these really beautiful kind of, what's the word? Army? Not army green. Smoky green. I mean, it, it's gorgeous absolutely beautiful and i prefer this mini palette to the retro palette the retro palette the midi one is more purpley mauve almost and i like this one better this is gorgeous these colors are very unique these greens gorgeous very unique and to pair the greens with the, am i thinking of the wrong one I don't think so. Okay, that's right. I remember now. I had to refresh my memory. <laughs> this one, Mini Retro, came out. Everybody loved it. Absolutely incredible. Then she released the Retro palette, and that one is purpley mauve. Like, not like this color story at all. Then she released the Retro Glam palette that has more of the greens and the pinks. And I love that one. But as far as mini palettes go, this is gorgeous. If you're looking for something outside of the box, if you really like the pinks and the greens, but you don't want the retro glam has more of like a uh, pastel greens. This is so beautiful, super duper beautiful. I mean, look at those swatches, so good. So, number five. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Coming in at number four. This is the newest addition to my mini collection from Natasha Nona. This is the mini rose palette. I just used this palette in my um, get ready with me video that I just filmed talking about where I've been. Um, and I did a poll on my community tab asking you guys which one you like better, the mini rose or the mini starlet palette. And most people said starlet. The starlet shades really stick in your brain a little bit more than these rose shades. These last two on my hand, <laughs> these two are the shimmers from this palette. And I mean, it's a, it's a pinky rose. It's a very beautiful pink rose palette. And the looks you can get super cohesive, very, very easy. But I have three that come above this one because I just prefer their color stories a little bit more. I don't see myself reaching for it every day because it, I mean, it is pink, but it is more of the pinks that I lean towards than like the crush palette that came in at 11. That makes sense. So coming in at number four, absolutely incredible formula. Holy cow. You cannot go wrong with any of my top five. I mean, really with any of them, if they speak to you, if that's your color story, they're incredible. Natasha Nona's formula is one of my top favorites. I really, really like the shimmers. The mattes are very, very good, but I just think the shimmers really stand out in her, you know, the grand scheme of things. <laughs> Coming in at number three, this is the Natasha Nona Mini Biba palette. This was my favorite top number one for a long time in my mini collection. This is incredible. It is more of a peachy color story though. It translates to very peachy on the eyes, which I, um, I don't know. I just don't feel like I would guess that looking at it, but it's a peachy brown warm color story. But the reason that it won for so long was this shimmer shade. That middle shimmer is one of my favorite shimmers of all time. It's like a rose gold. It is. It's like, oh, it's such a beautiful rosy gold color. It's not too gold. It's not too yellow. It's not too orange. It's like 
a pinky gold. I love it so much. I love it. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So this mini Biba palette is one of my favorite quints that I have. I know if I want a nice, warm, peachy, smoky eye, I reach for this one. I reach for this one, honestly, more than I reach for the larger Biba palette that I do still really like, but it's, I don't know. I don't think it's all mattes. Wow. My brain is not, it's just pull it together brain. <laughs> Anyways, I, yes, I reach for this one more than the Biba palette, the original. I really, really, really love the mini. So I don't think it's limited edition. I think it's still available. I really enjoy this palette. So good. Was my number one for a while, but now I've got two that top it. So <laughs> coming in at number two is the Natasha Donut Mini Starlet Palette. This is an absolutely gorgeous color story. I don't, it's like a brownie pink. I absolutely love this color story. I love the layout of this bronzy pink. It's so interesting. It's so unique that these are the two shimmers from the Starlet palette. Absolutely incredible. It just, this color story makes so much sense and I really, really like it. And I don't know if I have anything like this, honestly. I, there's no Starlet Midi palette to pull from. Um, and this one is more of a recent release for her. And I really, really love the two shimmers, three mattes. I like that layout in her um, mini palettes. <laughs> I really do. I like it a lot. I prefer the two shimmers over, two shimmers, three mattes over the four mattes, one shimmer. Because this shimmer is more of like a, a light toppery, duochrome almost. And Galaxia, I had like a few people comment on the poll that I did with the Starlet and the Mini Rose saying that Galaxia is like one of your favorite shades of all time. And I can see that. I mean, holy cow. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's so pretty. And Galaxia paired with that Raya, the more metallic bronze. I mean, yes. Yes. I love, I love the Starlet palette. Really beautiful bronzy pink color story. It's incredible. So, so gorgeous. Last but certainly not least, this is my number one favorite, top favorite mini <laughs> palette that I have ever tried from Natasha Denona. Oh, can you guess what it is? <laughs> I think that if you've been here for a minute, you might be able to guess what it is. Haven't mentioned it yet. This is the Natasha Denona My Mini Dream Palette. First of all, this is the only one with the super beautiful black paint splatter on the front. Oh, <laughs> I love that. I love the paint splatter. That might be one of my top favorite packaging like aesthetics of all time. I love paint splatter. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just do. I love the black paint splatter. This is a cool toned lover's dream, which I think pairs incredibly well with the original My Dream palette. Um, the original My, oh, I love those colors. These two over here. These are, oh, these two. These are the shimmers, <laughs> metallics from this palette. Those two on the end. It pairs really well with the original My Dream palette, the midi palette that she originally came out with because that one is more warm tone purples and it's got some fun duochromes and I really love that palette. It used to be my favorite. Um, I don't think the My Dream midi is my favorite anymore, but the mini screams my name. I love cool tones. I love cool tones. I wear silver jewelry. I'm a cool tone girl, I think. I usually go for neutral foundations, but I just prefer cool tones, <laughs> especially on my eyes. So I love this. Absolutely incredible. 
if you want a cool tone palette. It's got the three mattes, two shimmer setup that I really love. Um, going with the medium, then the light, then the darker one to deepen everything up. And then I put this one all over the lid and then this one on top in the inner corner. And you have a gorgeous, cool toned, everyday, office friendly, gorgeous setup. I mean, I just love, I love the mini palettes because they don't require a lot of thought. You don't have to sit there and decide what you're going to do that day with your eyeshadow. <laughs> Not everybody has time for that. <laughs> so this one is my number one. I love it. I love it a lot, a lot, a lot. Mini palette wise coming in number one. So with that, <laughs> those are all 11 midi palettes that I own. Do you have ones that I don't have? Are they your favorite? What do you think about my ranking? What do you think about where I put all of these beautiful, super beautiful quints? <laughs> I love them. I love them a lot. So yeah. <laughs> okay. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Give this video a thumbs up if you love videos like this, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Mm. Love you. Bye. Mommy? Yes, baby. Come here. No, you can't watch me, but you can say hi. Say hi. hi. <laughs> Is that my hair? Yeah, that's your hair. No, I did. Is that my hair? Yeah. Oh, my ear, my eyes. <laughs> You're funny. Come on. Go put that in the garbage. Garbage. Garbage? Garbage?